this first problem here. So uh, when you're dealing with a fraction, that radical can apply to every individual part. And so the square root of 150, 150 is 25 times 6. So the square root of 25 comes out as a 5. The 6 stays inside the radical. Uh, square root of x to the fifth, we can pull out two groups of x, leaving one group inside the radical. And in the denominator, the square root of y to the sixth, you can pull out three groups of y, leaving nothing in the radical. Okay, and so we have our simplified form here. We only need to test for negatives now. So when we go back in and test for the <coughs> negatives on x, can x be a negative value in the original form? A negative to an odd power can only exist if there's a neg another odd power variable to cancel with it, is there? No. So x can't even be a negative. It's restricted from the domain. Is that apparent in the simplified form too, that x can't be negative? Yeah, it's still restricted. So you know that x can't even be negative. You don't have to worry about it. So go to y and test y. Can y be a negative? Negative to an even power? Yes, it's independent of x. So when we test our simplified form, if y was a negative here, cubed would be a negative. The only way to guarantee this is never going to be negative is to do what around the y's? And once again, you can have your absolute values around just the y or around the y cubed. Uh, either one's fine. Okay, when we look at the next example, here the 18 is 9 times 2. So the square root of 9 comes out as a 3. The 2 stays as a factor in the radical. How many groups of 2 can you remove from the x's? Two with one x left inside, and how many groups of two can you remove from the y's? Also two. So we go back and check again, can, y or can x be a negative? Odd power, no, there's no other variables to an odd power that can cancel with that, so x can't be negative. That restriction is still apparent in our simplified form. Can y be a negative? Yes, it's independent of x, uh, negative to an even power works, so if I test my y, a negative squared becomes a positive, is there any scenario where this is a negative value? No, so you don't need any additional absolute values. This would be your simplified form.